As part of this series, we are now taking action. We want to bring you solutions. That's why WSFA will host our second day of action event. It's designed to help those suffering from poverty here in Alabama. Joining us in studio is Jana Bailey from the River Region United Way. Jana, we had an incredible response to that first day of action in Tuskegee. We were hoping for the same this we week. We did. I think it's going to double the size. We are already at 45 vendors in the community. Um, which is amazing. Um, you know, we started out with 30 and it has grown just since Friday since we were on here. But we know that it is very challenging sometimes for people to know what's out there. I mean, you know, we talk about the food deserts and we th talk about food and we talk about um, having challenges with food and rent and electricity and all of those things. How to get a job, how to go get a GED, what are some services that are available for senior citizens, for, for maybe you have a child with disability. All all of these things that we are bringing it with the partnership of WSFA to one place, the multiplex um, this Thursday and from nine to three. I know you're going to talk more about that, but it's just so important that we bring the services and that we are being more active in what we're doing to those clients that are in the most need in our community. There are also representatives who will be on hand to talk about education because we know education is key to stopping that generational poverty, that yes. cycle. Yes, it is. And as we know, education is the foundation, not just of that, but of, of the community as a whole. And we know that MPS is moving forward and making some of those changes and giving kids hope and encouragement. But maybe there are uniforms that the family needs help with. And we realized that when we were in Macon County, that some of the things that we take for granted is like, okay, how can we reach out and help those and um, find a way to get them the resources that they need? A lot of people don't realize how important that is. But if if you look good, you feel good. If you feel Absolutely. ashamed of how you look when you walk into that classroom, you're not going to perform right. as well. That, again, that's just one of the aspects of this day of action. There are so many areas that we are going to tackle. And as you mentioned, a lot of people aren't aware of these services that are out there. Do they need to bring anything with them? No. I mean, bring your ID card. I always say that. But there are going to be, um, there's going to be legal aid there so that, that maybe they can assist you with wills or with air property, which that's always a challenge if you're trying to help someone renovate their home, maybe insulation or windows or something is that, you know, you've got to prove ownership. And a lot of times people don't know this, or you may be rocking along really good and then you get laid off from your job. Or maybe, you know, your son or daughter is having challenges and they've moved back in with you with grandchildren and now you have extra expenses or, you know, you just need something to help you over this bump in the road. And so we see a lot of that. We know too that over the years since, you know, post the pandemic is that we've seen the needs go up and resources go down. So we are hoping with collaboration and partnerships with these agencies that we can look at a person's needs and approach it holistically. And maybe you don't live in poverty. Maybe you're okay right now, but you're part of an organization that serves the community. Please come out as well because you can collect information and take it back to those people within your organization who may need help. Right, right. And that's another important issue is that if you can't make it out this day, um, get your relatives or get someone that you know that is going to collect these things. Or at least, you know, you can go on our website, I'm sure y'all's, to look at all the agencies that are there and you can come out and talk to them. And, you know, in Macon County, there were several that stood out, but I think there was one, it was a young gentleman and he said, I just want to work enough to get above poverty level. And that was his goal. And he did talk to a lot of vendors that day and are getting him on the right track. They don't want a lot. They just want a better life. Absolutely. They just want a, a good chance and everyone deserves that Absolutely. opportunity. And we're in, an we're in a place to provide that and, and however we can. So we're looking forward to it. Come out. It's going to be a great day and we just look forward to serving more people. This day of action is here in Montgomery at the Crampton Bowl Multiplex from 9 to 3 this Thursday. Please come out and join us.